Hey guys, welcome to another Home Lab series video. In today's video, we will be showing you how to automate or at least make it so that when you commit to our Ansible Playbook repo in GitLab, that it automatically kicks off the sync so you don't have to manually sync it in AWX. So, this video is also sponsored by me, myself, and I. So if you enjoy my videos, want to sponsor me, or send me some free struggle hardware, my email is in the description below. So, okay, let's get started, guys. Okay, so first off, what we're going to do is actually log into our AWX. We're going to create a service user. Now, the reason why we want to do this is because service users make a lot more sense for these use cases so that, you know, if you get fired or the, the user that you use isn't there anymore, when it gets deleted, it still works, the process, right? Because at the end of the day, you want to make sure it still works regardless of whether you're there or not. Um, so what we're going to create is a service account. So we'll name it like SVC GitLab for like service GitLab. Um, we'll set that as a username. Uh, we'll go to our vault order and actually generate a password um, here real quick. So let's uh, generate a randomly generated password. Copy that. Set that, set that. And we'll leave it as a normal user in AWX. So we'll save that. So what we'll do here is now we'll go into um, teams uh, or roles, roles, sorry, the, the user and roles, we'll click add and we'll select the project and then select GitLab because that's the GitLab project that we're going to be doing and then allow this user to be able to update this project. So we're doing principal least privilege. We're getting only give the access that this service account needs and nothing more and nothing less, right? Um, because it makes that that makes the most sense. So from there, we can now go to our Ansible playbooks. We will edit the web IDE real quick. And what we'll do here is go to our GitLab CI.yaml. So you can see in our last video, we actually created a validate step here where we actually allowed it to essentially loop through all the YAML files and validate whether or not it actually is true. I made it a little bit cleaner here um, because um, I put all the builds, all the things that, all the packages I needed to install in my build container and, and took it out here just so that it's quicker. Um, so it's only doing what it needs to do. So what we'll do here is create a deploy step where essentially what happens is once it finishes validating, it will do a deploy, right? Um, and what we'll do here is essentially use the Ansible Tower API to be able to deploy out to um, the AWX and just do the sync. Um, so what we'll do here is do script and we'll, we'll end up using curl, but let me show you how to use the API first. So if you go back to Ansible uh, AWX, um, we'll just open a new tab here. They have their own API, so and, and it's API v2, which essentially shows you, you know, all the things that you can do in regards to using this API. So this is kind of neat because then you can kind of figure out what you can do with the API without needing to read documentation too hard. So what we can go to is projects, and then we can see there's two projects. So if we look at this, the, the, there's a count of two projects. So this project ID is six. And if we scroll down, I believe the name of this is demo project. So we don't want this project. We want project eight. And if we scroll down, we can see that this project is named GitLab. So we want project eight um, in here. So we will go to um, update right here. So we can see that we are on API v2 project eight update and from here it essentially you can use the get or um well um, or use the post command which is essentially will do a post and then you should actually be able to see that it kicks off the source control job right so it actually kicked it off right here on nine so what we'll use is actually grab this and we'll just do a post request with with curl so we'll do curl x post and then the URL. Now, the problem here is, you know, you need authentication, right? Because without authentication, you essentially can't do anything um, because it'll, it'll be unauthorized. So what we'll do is we'll use the user um, parameter here where we can set SVC GitLab, and then we'll create a variable called AWX password because we don't want 
pass was to be hard coded in the GitLab CI, we want to use it as a variable and import it as a variable for that project. So we'll just name it AWX pass one. So before we commit this, we'll go back to GitLab, um, go to GitLab <clears throat> and go to settings, CI CD and variables. And we will add a variable, call it AWX um, pass, password. And then import the password that we had here. So we'll copy that password. We'll paste it here. It will be an environment variable. We'll protect it. We'll also mask it. So it's essentially if if it ever gets output in, in the job output, it won't it'll just be like star 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 star, right? So we'll add that. So now that that's in there, we can now commit this in here. Commit add deploy to sync. <coughs> We'll commit that to main and we will watch this project here. So obviously it'll go through the validate step like, like normal, go through the files, validate is true. And then it'll move on to the deploy step if it succeeds, right? <clears throat> we don't want it to actually sync unless all of our playbooks are uh, validated. <clears throat> and so you can see how it does the post request up to our update on this. It essentially succeeded because there was not an error. And now we can go to AWS jobs <clears throat> and see that this last job right here actually kicked it off. So we actually had this job right here when we where we manually did it, and then we had this job where GitLab actually kicked off the sync. <clears throat> so now you can just commit to your repo and it will automatically kick off the sync in AWX to grab any new things that you committed in your repo without you needing to magically Mainly go to projects, GitLab, and then hitting the sync button. You don't need to do that anymore with this. So there you go, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. And if you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.